Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm a hair. Literally hate hair. It's not something I have any interest in whatsoever. Since I cut mine off into this bob, long bob, lob, you guys have never requested a hair tutorial more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I get like those loose beachy style waves on my hair. The products that I use, it's all pretty minimal, pretty simple, easy, straightforward, nothing crazy. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and show you guys how I do my hair if this is of any interest to you. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. So Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, you guys know the drill. Like, you know, follow them and do it. Stop saying you're gonna do it. So many of you guys come over to Twitter and you're like, made this just to say hi. And I'm like, hey, because I reply to almost every tweet because that's the way Twitter is. Instagram too, follow. You get some shit, you know? It's the way it goes. I'm gonna guilt trip you until y'all do it because I know you're not all doing it because then I was saying the monocle. Okay. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask is like, what kind of cut did you ask for? I asked for a blunt cut bob that kind of hits at my shoulder blades because I always wear my hair curly. So when it's short, it'll be a little bit higher and I love the style of it. There are a couple different things to consider when you get this haircut. First of all, if you have very thin hair, it can make your hair look thicker. A lot of my hair is tape-in hair extensions for volume. I get my hair done at Axis Hair Salon in Vancouver. So if you guys do live anywhere in Canada or Vancouver, BC, then that's where I get my hair done from Carl. I live in like Seattle area of Washington and I just take the drive because because he's so amazing. My hair always comes out exactly how I hope it would and I just love them with my whole heart. I didn't want to go too short because I have a really round face but I also didn't want to go too long because I want it to have this very specific look to it. So I did show some reference images. Basically, he balayaged and baby lighted my hair. So as you can see, there are some little baby lights going through to my roots and then he did a color melt, a root melt is what he called it. So he like put a darker toner on my roots so that it all melts in together and uh, yeah. That's what we got. So the way that I curl my hair is the same as when I had long hair, except for I just like the look of it so much better. You can either part your hair to the side or you can part it in the middle. Today I'm doing middle, even though I really love the side, I'm kind of sick of the side. I've been doing it for like two weeks. So the curling wand I'm gonna use is just a one inch curling wand. It does taper a bit, um, but I kind of stick towards the thicker side of it. So I actually saw Katie Luster Lux mention this in her video. This is the Way Memory Mist. So it says here, it's a heat protectant and it says for use before you style, this multitasking priming spray adds heat protection, shine and long lasting memory to any look, curls and blowouts included. Using one of a kind formula, the lightweight spray memorizes your hair shape and texture until your next shampoo. That's what I need because I have the most flat hair of any hair in the world. So I saw this on Katie's video that she just just did recently with Glenn Coco. Is it Glenn? Glenn? Yeah. Glenn Coco over here. She said that this is great. So I trust everything she says because she's human perfection. So I'm going to do my hair the way I normally would. He said you can like spray each section and then do it, which is the way he likes it. Or you can spray the whole head. I'm going to spray the whole head type of bitch. If you're super sensitive to smells, you may not like this. It's really strongly scented of floral. Um, I'm really, really sensitive to smell as well, and <laughs> so then I take my curling wand and I just sort of, I don't section my hair off, but I sort of start in the front and I don't add the end in because I like to keep it straight and the front of my hair I pull I curl away from my face because I don't want it to be like coming into my face and I do like one side of my head first and then the other and then if I did the front section away from my face I take the section next to it and I curl it towards my face and I kind of tug on it a little bit so it's looser at the end. I have very, very fine and thin hair, so I have to kind of start up at the top. Okay, so we're gonna go away for this one. Kind of have to start up at the top and give the majority of my curl up here because my hair falls out really easily. Sucks, so. Also, the extensions tend to curl better than my natural hair. But I want it to look a little more effortless and not so like I'm obviously trying really hard to make my hair curly. Sometimes if you curl it too tight, it can just look a little curly sue, a little try hard. So that's kind of the whole top section. It takes like literally five seconds. And then I just go in and find some straight sections inside and kind of just do it. It's really like, it's so simple. 
I kind of just do whatever way. When you curl them both different ways, you don't get that big lump of a curl. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes if you curl your hair all away, it all kind of like curls into one big giant one. But if you do separate, they don't stick together. I'm sure you guys know what I mean when I say they don't stick together, right? They don't like create one big monster curl. This part's just the tedious, irritating part. It's the styling at the end that really brings it all together. So you may like look at this and be like, oh, this doesn't look that great. But at the very end, when you like zhuzh it all up and tease the shit out of it, that's when everything comes together and looks kind of contemporary and cool. So that's the one side. I'll show you real quick on this one. This does come with one of those little heat protecting gloves for your hands, but I'll just burn myself, it doesn't matter. So away from the face on this side. And when I'm doing this, I like to kind of pull my hair down in front of my face so that it gives me those bangs because I don't like my terrible hairline. So I just cover that shit up. We all have our insecurities and my uh, five head is one of them. Hair is one of those things that's so funny. My entire life, everybody's been like, why didn't you go to hair school? Why don't you do cosmetology? I hate it. Hair is one of those tedious tasks for me that by the time I get done doing my makeup, which I love doing, I'm like, why isn't my hair just done? Like, this is bullshit, dude. Why, why is this like this? I wish, I know the grass is always greener, but I so wish I was one of those people that had naturally curly hair. If you do, you don't know how lucky you are, but I'm sure you feel that way about straight hair. It is so fantastically wonderful, I bet, to just wake up and have curly hair. Although, I'm guessing the frizziness is, is kind of rough. So once your hair is curled, what's cool about having a short hairstyle like this is like even if little pieces are straight in there, it really doesn't matter. Like you can go through and sort of take care of the pieces that look like ultra funny if they just really don't look right. But you kind of just have to do the top layer. This is the step where I take my comb. I'm just using any basic rat tail comb. It doesn't have to be like awesome or anything. And I just... Tease up here at the root. This is not the only place we're gonna tease and it's not the main area that I do tease, but you definitely do want some body underneath there. But then I also kind of gently brush through my hair. You don't have to use a comb for this if you have really weak hair. But then I gently tease in the hair itself to add that like volume and body. Do you see what I mean? If you like tease down here into the hair, it creates that, I hate to say like triangle head, but kind of, it like makes it, I don't know, like, you know, so you just run your comb through it to get those curls softer. This is so hard to do because my, my mirror thing is like backwards. I just really zhuzh in the hair here. Let me scoop back a bit. My hair is ultra clean today because I just showered, but if you want something to add some texture back into your hair, which can help it stay like kind of tousled and cute, you can use this, which is the Way Dry Texture Hairspray or the Texturizing Hairspray. I don't always use this, but I do like this. And by the way, this isn't sponsored by Way or anything. I just happen to like these products. But I kind of take and I just kind of quickly spray in my hair and it adds just like a little bit of texture into your hair. I'm strongly scented too, but in a different way. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so this is the hairspray that I use. Obviously, you guys do not have to use this. This is a uh, hairspray from the salon that I go to, from Axis. And this is their Works Best Hairspray Ever. And it says here, Works Finishing Spray is your alternative to planet damaging aerosols. Because it's dry to the touch, you can use it for heat setting and finishing for a hold that's soft yet committed to your style. Layer for a medium hold and enjoy a non-sticky, non-flaky hair day. Unlike other hairsprays, Axis Works is scented with only essential oils to ensure that you don't walk around smelling like an air freshener. We don't call it the best hairspray ever for nothing. Now, I completely agree. That's one thing that I really like about Axis. By the way, this isn't sponsored by Axis. This isn't sponsored by anybody. Nobody asked me to make this except for you guys. Um, that 
they don't use perfumes in their stuff. Now, if you don't know, I suffer from a headache condition that is horrifying and is triggered by scents. Like even right now, the smell of these whey things is really bugging me. What's nice about Axis is that everything's essential oils, so it doesn't trigger my headaches because it's not a synthetic artificial perfume, which I really like. But I'm not sure if you can buy these online. If you can, I will absolutely link the products down below that I use from Axis. If you can buy them online, they're so good. They're, they're just, they're just nice and it's non aerosol so I can use it around my cat. If you guys didn't know, I have a cat with asthma and I used these sprays today but I'm locked in my room and typically I can't use aerosol sprays around him because he gets asthma attacks. So I've been using a lot of Axis stuff. So. It's got a nice spray to it. Mm, that smells good. And so really, this is the hairstyle that I do. It's that simple. It takes like 10 minutes start to finish. I think I've been recording total for 13 minutes. So it's like that simple. When your hair is short like this, no lie, it's so good. <laughs> I thought that I would absolutely hate it. I'm like, it's just not gonna suit me. It's gonna look, make me look kind of fatter or something. Disagree, I think it makes me look kind of chicer. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know, I just really like it a lot. And if you've been contemplating cutting your hair, highly suggest. I'm keeping my hair short for a while. This is too good. You could just throw extensions in if you don't like it short. But if you want it short, you can't do that if you have long hair. It's fantastic. But that's really it. Like, it's so simple. It's so easy. It's so quick. It looks good second day too. That's what I love about this short hair is when I had long hair, no lie, my hair looked like dog shit on the second day. But because my hair is so much lighter now, I can just spray. I've been really liking the Batiste dry shampoo. It does leave a bit of a white cast. It's the only dry shampoo that actually makes my hair like look and feel clean. Not clean, but not hideously greasy. And I can actually leave the house on second day hair. Normally I have to like wash my hair every day. I know people say that's really bad for your hair, but I'm just not one of those people that can do that. And if you guys wanna know like how I style my hair when I do it on the side part, I'll just show you briefly. I would air dry my hair on the side, but I always part the left side of my hair over. And so that, boom. I like to pull the hair down a little bit. It doesn't wanna do it cause it dried in the center today. But if I had curled it, I would just curl this back out of my face, you know? And I always tuck one side behind my ear. It kind of makes it look like asymmetrical. You see how this is like shorter and now this looks longer. It just looks cool. And so that's how I do that. I just honestly carry a comb with me all the time. It's just always in my purse. And then I just zhuzh if I'm at a restaurant or if I'm out anywhere, you just literally grab your phone, just kind of, do it and also you can kind of just like fluff your hair up at any time and it just works like it's just honestly it's one of my favorite haircuts I've ever had I even think I might go like teens bit short I don't know I feel like I'm just gonna get shorter and shorter but I just I love it it's so cute and my husband really likes it too every outfit I wear with this hair looks better I can't understand it I'm not questioning it though I can't understand it though it's wonderful fantastic love it I no, this was really quick and you guys may not be all that stoked about how fast this went, but that's the reality of my hair. That's, this would take me like 45 minutes to do with my long hair. And with this short hair, it's just like 10. Like it's that fast and it's so flattering. I don't know. And you can use any hairspray. You don't have to use these products. I don't, are they life changing? Like is the texturizing hairspray life changing? No. Is it fine? Yeah, and do I really know, does this like actually protect your hair? It's a primer, it's a hair primer. Is it like face primer? I hate that too. Is it a gimmick? Are you lying to me? Because that is absolutely hurtful. How do you protect against heat? How does that work? The ingredients are just hideous. You can just use any hairspray from like the drugstore. That's what I do. Sometimes I use like my Aussie, like awesome volume, or there's one that's like extra hold. Sometimes I do those like if I'm going to an event or something and I want my hair to like not fucking move. Those are what I go with. So you don't have to go all bougie and weird. You can just use any products that you have at home. And honestly, it's just really the wrap curling technique with the hair and then really backcombing the shit out of it and backcombing down here too. Don't just go up here. The only one negative I can say about this haircut is that sometimes you look a little bit like Lord Farquaad. Who did I hear that from? Elena Davison, I think it was you. And it's the case with one of these, these type of haircuts, you can look a little far quaddy. When you walk, the hair, the air pushes your hair back and then you have triangle head, but that's really it. It's no big deal. Triangle head can be kind of cute sometimes, you know. 
I know this was relatively quick, but I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything you probably can say. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. You guys know the drill. Okay, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Hey, hi. Testing my mic by screaming in it. What is that? What is ringing? Gotta whiten these fucking corn teeth. So before we get into this video, why am I screaming? And my battery's dying. Cool. Bullshit. And this is, it says right here, use before you style this multitasking priming spray and heat protectant, shine and long lasting memory to any look. That didn't, what? You can, that was my phone. Fuck. Quickie, bah.